Hey everybody, welcome to Be With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Stars Beads here in Vienna, Virginia. Thanks for joining me. I'm gonna wait a few minutes as we are popping on live because uh, I'm infamous for you know having to run that time, trying to squeeze in as many minutes as I can in the day. And uh, for whatever reason, the 25th hour never seems to show up. But here we are. We made it and I hopefully you guys are having just a busy of an afternoon. Hey Janice, it's great to see you. Hey Jonah. We'll see if we can get a little Jonah hi uh, today. He's gotten over the whole Facebook Live phase. I just tell him, hey, I'm going on Facebook Live. Do you need anything? He says, ah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> oh, Gina, looks like you've made it back home. Hey, Paula, you gonna be coming by, pick up your little grab bag of buttons? Hey, Lynn, good to see you. Hey, uh, I meant to send you a picture of that necklace that you liked the other day, and unfortunately, it got sold. So, um, hopefully we can work on something else, but it had some beautiful amethyst and crystal was what it was made up of. So we'll have to do a little, you know, screenshot of me and see if we can uh, zoom in on that baby. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? All right. So, um, happy Monday. Thanks for joining me. We have just a few things I thought I'd make a, a couple announcements because uh, Friday night was awesome for those of you that joined us. Uh, it was so much fun. We had another complete sellout of buttons. I think that we had a little bit of a meltdown with uh, Legos here up front. We'll see if that explodes here in just a minute you guys okay but we had a yeah sorry Lynn that's no problem Paula you can come in uh stop by tomorrow okay so I wanted to say congratulations real quick to all those winners we were giving away so many things so we gave away earrings we gave away some beautiful pendants we gave away buttons um there was a lot of giveaways so congratulations to Barb and Rebecca and Kimberly, let's see, and Betty. And um, and we had to kind of hop off um, because one, it was a late night and uh, two, you know, had to do the whole motherly thing. And so I had to get over to my son. So I wanted to kind of introduce what we were going to be doing here this week. So one of the things uh, for Friday Night Live I just want to introduce to you guys is I am swimming in beautiful, beautiful bangles. So I don't know if you had noticed what I was wearing uh, today here, but I have these beautiful bangles on. You can see I have, of course, my favorite color on are these teal ones. These are handmade in Nepal, okay, done with uh, Japanese uh, seed beads. So these ones may be a little bit different than maybe sometimes what you see online, but here, let me just show you. I want to show you I've got lots and lots of beaded bangles you guys so i'm swimming in beaded bangles so this is going to be what is going to be shown for friday night live okay so i wanted to tell you guys a little bit about them they are let's see pull some up on the screen here because i I always like blue and I guess I must be thinking blue. I'm wearing blue and the project I picked out today is, is blue. But um, well you can see up close here, okay, the quality on these ones, these are kind of roll-ons, okay, so there's no clasp on there, okay, you can do different color sets. Now these ones are a little bit extra special, you know, to me. These are done um, in Nepal, all handmade. Uh, it's done with a women's co-op group. So you are supporting, you know, a, a group of women overseas. These are going to be, you know, all supporting them. Money goes direct to them. So just know that everything that you're putting forth is really supporting a good cause. Um, I, myself, uh, for the Friday Night Live, I'll be doing some specials as well as, you know, kind of giving some of the proceeds that, you know, um, forward as well. So we want to pay it forward. The beads that they use are seed beads. Now these ones, um, a lot of the beads that they find over in Bali and uh, in, in Asia, they aren't cut really well. So these ones are specific in that the uh, Japanese seed beads are sent over. So the color sets are made so that they look nice. So I don't know if you've seen 
you know, maybe ones from, you know, your travels or, you know, maybe ones that you might see online. Like they always have maybe some funky color sets. Maybe they don't go quite uh, together or some of the beads are kind of offset. Well, that that's the reason why these ones are kind of a little bit nicer. They're a little bit more even. Um, they're oftentimes using size 15 seed beads. And so that kind of led me into talking about um, maybe going into seed bead week. So I'm not a seed bead stitcher, but I wanted to kind of introduce seed beads in general. Um, the things that you can do with them and using seed beads and not having to stitch with them. So I'm going to show a couple projects here today, maybe do a quick one, um, because it may end up being a little bit more of a show and tell. So you can kind of see some of the projects that we have already done in the past couple weeks. Uh, you can check those and I don't know episode seven, episode 13. I think we've got like, you know, several dozen episodes now, so you can look back um, and I'll try to shoot up the episode number so you can see which ones we've used seed beads in. But I'm gonna show them here today and and kind of talk about just the what they are. Um, so maybe you've heard seed beads, you say, oh, you know, you're, we're using them as little spacers, but we really don't know uh, what seed beads are. So here I have shown, Okay, things that you might have seen. Okay, so we've seen loom work. Okay, so those are little seed beads all being stitched back and forth through here. Okay, you might have seen embellishment. So taking a cabochon, that's something that doesn't have a hole and then there's see some beautiful embellishment work. Okay, um, there's tons of tutorials online that you can find in awesome projects and great seed beaters, okay? But you guys, I like beginners, I like quick and easy, and so I like getting you started, I like getting you guys motivated, and so seed beads, okay, I've got a five-year-old, okay, I, I only have so much time, and it all, I'm taking care of all of you guys too, so seed beads, I love them, but not for embellishment, okay? Oh, that's right, Gina, yes, Kumihimo too, okay, and that makes it pretty fast too. All right, that's right. I'm gonna be bringing some of my stars friends on here and maybe we'll show you some other fun techniques and, and, and play along, okay? So I like to use seed beads in uh, more like a spacer or, you know, let's see, let's take a look right here. So I have some designs here and these are all using seed beads, okay? You can see they're interspersed with pearls. You can see they're interspersed with crystals here. Okay, lots of different colors that you can do. They look really nice, right? So we know how to do multi-strands, right? So I'm also wearing a design right now. So for people who are doing, um, doing pearls, right? We oftentimes want to hand knot, but maybe you're not a, a knotter, right? So, so you can use a seed bead in the place of it like a faux knot. I don't know if I could get my necklace off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you my two necklaces that I have on so you can kind of see a little bit of the difference, okay? Either style is fine. Okay, so here I have my stones and there's no beads in between. Looks gorgeous, okay, and quick. Okay, here I have those same stones, but here I've put a little bead in between, okay? This helps lengthen my necklace, so maybe you don't have that many stones, okay? And you still wanna make a necklace, you can put a little bead in between, okay? In this case, I used a slight little sterling bead. Okay, so you can kinda of see the difference here. Stone with no seed bead and then with a seed bead. Okay, um, let's see, I've also used where, okay, here, so here's our pearl, pearl necklace here. And this is using a, a, a spacer bead. In this case, it's about a four millimeter in, in metal versus a seed bead. Okay, but this is kind of giving that, you know, the look of that it's knotted, right? And then just a, uh, here's one done with a beautiful stars clasps. 
line we were just going over that so we showed this the other week but see that beautiful ametrine okay and so I didn't I, I I'm not a knotter necessarily I know how to knot okay but I'm into like I said you know trying to make it up quick and easy so here I've used little seed beads these are happen to be size 11s okay all spread out through there to give it space to give it air so my beads are not touching and rubbing Okay, as well as giving it a little bit of length too. And it gives a little bit of added pop too. A little bit more gold, right? All right, so now we can see what seed beads do. Now I'm just gonna introduce different, different sizes so you guys can see. So I brought a couple tubes. We are, let's see, I guess we're upside down here. Okay, we are Toho carriers. Okay, so that is spelled T-O-H-O. -O. Here's Toho's. Okay, the Japanese are the best at making seed beads. There are two brands that you will see most often. It's going to be Toho and, and Mayuki. They are both Japanese brands, both very, very good high quality brands. Um, Mayuki is best known for their Delicas. Okay, and we're going to discuss those in a moment, okay? We are, we are Toho carriers for the most part, um, but we do also carry some, you know, different, different shapes that they also carry. So like duos, minis, magatamas, but we're going to kind of go over just the tried and true, okay? So things that you can use and, and, and intersperse through your jewelry, things that are not necessarily things you have to stitch and embellish with and we'll use we're going to use them in a different way okay so i wanted to kind of show you different sizing so oftentimes you'll hear about a size 11 okay so that was used in in this necklace here was a size 11 okay an 11 seed bead is about 2.2 millimeter so when we're looking at stones You might hear two millimeter faceted. You could also use these as well. So these nice little gar garnets, and we'll show a little tray of two mils. Okay, so this will be a little bit of fun shopping as well as uh, <laughs> things you can use for spacers. Okay, so this is a size 11. Okay, then the next size is a size eight. Okay, a size eight you're looking at about a three, three millimeter in size. Okay, and then we go up to a size six. Okay, so we can kind of see all the di different sizes right here next to each other. Okay, a size six is about a four millimeter bead. Okay, now these are considered rounded and then, um, and then a a really nice size but it is very tiny is a size 15 okay size 15s are itty bitty I think they run about a 1.5 millimeter but they look so good now I want to just show you so we're looking at those seed beads okay so look at all that stitching work done with this so this is like a size 11 okay but you can see a size 15 looks even better. So these are tinier than a lot of what I, I see on the general market, making them a, a lot nicer and they look so good and they stack so nice. Now I wanna show you a couple of the designs that I have on my wrist right now. Okay, oh, okay. So these are kind of the four sizes, standard sizes. Okay, and then I'm showing my Yuki because I want you to know what a Delica is. And you'll see on this tube here how it is tubular and it is cut off pretty straight. That means it's kind of almost squared. So when these are stitched, they stitch flat versus rounded. So in this case, these are rounded. So if you'll see on the side, they're going round, round, round. Bumps versus this will sit flat. Okay. Now, um, so a pattern will ask for Delica, so when it is asking for that, or if you're wondering why your pattern isn't sitting flat, oftentimes that could, could be an issue. 
that was one of the things I had done with my husband and when he was when I was trying to teach him um, how to you know do stringing and some of those basics and stuff and um, he couldn't get this bracelet to sit right and he had strung it like three times and then he finally just threw it down at me and said I've done this three times I know I've done it right but I just I, I don't understand why it's it's not laying flat and the reasoning was because every seed bead isn't 100% exact when you use it in rounded versus the delicas are and that was the difference is that it said a tubular bead and he didn't know what the difference was so um so those are the basics okay now I want to show you some of the designs that where we were using these Oh my gosh, 20 and 21s are even tinier. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy if you want to use anything tinier, but, but you cracked me up. All right, so all right, so you guys saw here that I've used just one in between, kind of like a faux knot in, in between like pearls, right? You could totally do that. Did that here, just the singular, singular seed bead. Okay? Now, I want you to go back, I think in, um, I don't know, maybe about two weeks ago, we did this uh, bracelet here. And this was also showing, look, we use size sixes in this. Okay, and look how nicely it mixed in. We also used O's, which is, I guess, in the seed bead family. Um, okay, but using all different colors of seed beads in here. And they come in metal colors as well. Okay, this is a stringing method, okay? So I'm showing different techniques or different designs that you can use using seed beads without the stitching. Okay, now, um, and then if you look at back at the very first bead with me episode is the crisscross bracelet. So here's a sample of it. We use size six seed beads. So if you like this design, I'm also wearing that one here with copper rings. Okay, very popular. I have kits you can look online um, into our photo library or just message me and I'm happy to <laughs> get you a kit. Okay, so this is using size six seed beads, I'm using five millimeter um, jump rings and some one millimeter leather, you guys. Okay, so another way to use your seed beads without stitching. I love it. Okay, now, um, Another design we had done, okay, is remember that leftover lariat? Okay, the lariat style where we had done this one, I just wanna show you, okay, using tiny beads. Now we could have used, you know, all sizes of the seed beads and in this, uh, throughout this whole piece we do, but you can see those size 11s there. Um, no, they were not Kumi Himo bracelets I had here. This was a, called the crisscross bracelet, and that's in episode one, I believe, Michelle. If you want to learn this crisscross bracelet, that's this, this style right here. Okay. Now, um, this one is the leftover lariats. You can see one of the older episodes on, on making this, but I'm just showing this up close to kind of show how you can use all your different shapes. So even if you had magatamas or, you know, other shapes of the seed beads or those O's, you can certainly use that into something like this. Cause you can see this is a little bit of everything. So fire polish and all those small, tiny sizes. Now, when we were talking about the seed beads, remember when we go to a 15, the higher the number, uh, let's see, the higher the number, the tinier the bead. So a size six, okay, is bigger than a size 15. Okay, so this is a 1.5 millimeter versus a four millimeter. Okay, so they are, use up great. I think the um, one of the necklaces will do a, a project here later on this week with this one, um, but this is kind of showing off. Uh, this was uh, one of the necklaces that I was wearing and showing off all the different sizes, okay? And and we're gonna do a project like this. This highlights some of those nice lamp work beads that you might've gotten from Tanessa McLean or anything that's hiding in your sash as well as showcasing your pendant piece, okay? All right, guys. I figured today was kind of more of a discussion and talk it through and get you motivated for the week and get you excited to play with probably all the tons of beads that you have at home, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, so otherwise,
you can keep it simple. You know, a lot of layering is in. So you can see I was wearing, let's see, I was wearing Tanzanites today. Um, and those were plain. These ones my mom strung for me, actually. And hi there, I'll be with you in just a second. So Tanzanites that are strung straight. Okay, looks good too. And then uh, these ones done layered up with the little seed beads in between. Okay, gave, gave it a little space. Make sure things go a little bit further. Okay, that's start one. So tomorrow again, we're going to be talking, maybe do a project actually, uh, with the seed beads here without any stitching. Okay, you guys, see you tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget, Friday at 8, we are doing beaded bangles, okay? Have a great day. Bye.